My name is Peter Vrains. I'm the co-founder, co-CEO of Neutromics. Uh, my background, I'm a chemical engineer. I've been an entrepreneur for about 15 years. Um, and uh, Hitesh and I have been um, working on developing Neutromics for the last three and a half years. And my name is Hitesh. I'm co-founder, co-CEO with Peter. Um, prior to Neutromics, I consulted extensively in healthcare, so looked at new models of care and how we improve the system in a global capacity at IBM Watson Health. Um, and at Neutromics, our, our mission is around revolutionizing healthcare uh, using continuous molecular monitoring technology. Hitesh and I started the company about three and a half years ago, and we had a shared vision uh, there are a lot of problems in healthcare. Uh, one of the big problems is that it is a reactive system. Um, clinicians often wait for people to get sick and then they treat the symptoms. And we had a fundamental problem with that. that that's what really brought us together. So we're developing a technology that can monitor any molecular target continuously and in real time. And that allows us to solve some big seismic problems in the healthcare system. Um, for example, we can monitor vancomycin, which is a common antibiotic dosed to one in five people in the US. And it's dosed very poorly at the moment. Um, 10 to 20% of patients get a toxic dose leading to an acute kidney injury. We can solve that problem. Uh, and by the way, acute injuries kill 1.1 million people here. So this is a, a major problem. So what we can do is monitor molecules continuously. And that's the equivalent of taking the blindfold off clinicians and allowing them to treat patients um, a lot more effectively and, and more safely as well. So that's where we are. And our future uh, beyond vancomycin is um, a multi-analyte sensor that can monitor uh, a number of different molecular targets. So we can expand this well beyond just therapeutic drug monitoring into prevention of lifestyle-related chronic diseases, um, molecular vital signs, um, and things like that. So it's a transformative technology that we're developing. In the three and a half years that Hitesh and I have been developing the company, we've really grown this. Um, we have about uh, 17 staff now, uh, some of the world's best in their particular fields all around the world. Uh, we've been able to attract to our company. We just completed a cap raise, um, which was $5.7 million. So we're really happy about that. And that brings our total funding to $10 million. Um, and we're moving now to clinical trials. We, we anticipate we'll be able to bring this product to market in 2024. And there are a number of clinical trials that we're working on. We've got a first in human trial that we'll be launching shortly. Um, and that's a real pivotal trial for us. Uh, it'll be the first time that we've been able to demonstrate that this technology works on a human. We've got a whole range of on-body um, animal trial data that shows it works, but this is the first time for, for on a human. And the exciting thing here is that this is a technology that, um, that, that can do what no other technology can do right now. This is an evolution of continuous glucose monitoring. And that technology can effectively really just measure glucose. So this opens up a whole world of um, problems we can solve when we can go beyond glucose. And that's why we call our technology continuous molecular monitoring or CMM, because it is that evolution of continuous glucose monitoring. The problem we're trying to solve is that clinicians today are often dealing with fast moving diseases, or they might be looking for data to try and understand what's going on with the patient. And typically they only have a single point in time data point. So they may have one blood draw to go on or some limited information. And some of these diseases can be fast moving like sepsis. Um, similarly, from a patient perspective, they may have symptoms, but they don't yet know what's actually going on. And so they're trying to uh, navigate this with the clinicians. There's a lot of uncertainty. And the clinicians are, are trying to rely on this information, which requires a blood draw, which has a lot of lag times in getting the information back from pathology. And it may be, like I said, a fast progressing condition where they then need to repeat the blood draws to get a more accurate picture of what's happening right now. So all of these problems we see over and over again in various healthcare settings, be it chronic disease settings or acute disease settings. And that's the problem we're trying to solve with our technology, where we can provide the clinicians and patients with a wearable lab on the skin, if you will. That's what our continuous molecular monitoring technology offers, is that 
when the clinician needs to make an informed decision, they have that patient molecular data in front of them at that point in time. And the way that's possible is because our technology allows you to get this real-time streaming of data coming from the patient, um, this molecular data, which is so important for the clinicians. And we've seen this uh, information and this, this problem validated with the clinicians that we work with today. So last year during the COVID lockdowns, we did a lot of work with a number of clinicians in our network to identify the unmet needs and the problems they face. And the thing that came through over and over again with internal doctor physicians, with intensive care specialists, with uh, clinical pharmacology specialists, over and over again was that trying to dose drugs, trying to monitor these fast moving targets is a real problem today where they have patients in the ICU uh, be it at the Austin or be it at St. Vincent's in Sydney or some of the hospitals in the US, we've seen the same problem over and over again where they have these patients, the disease is fast moving, they're trying to dose them with a life-saving drug like vancomycin and they've got to keep the concentration levels in a very tight, narrow therapeutic window. And oftentimes they may overshoot it and end up with a toxic dose for the patient or they may give them a too low a dose to try and be uh, safe, but it's ineffective which means the patient is there for longer and the underlying condition isn't being treated properly. Continuous molecular monitoring or CMM as we call it is the evolution of continuous glucose monitoring. So for most of you, uh, a lot of you will be familiar with CGMs, continuous glucose monitors. That's a $7 billion technology. It's revolutionized diabetes. Um, and it's gone from uh, being used for type 1 diabetics, now moving into type 2 uh, diabetics, and even in well-being applications. But it has a couple of limitations. The first limitation is that um, that technology is not a platform. Uh, it uses what's called an enzymatic type sensor. In the last 40 years, there's only been five enzymatic sensors that have been developed and shown to work on body. Now, if you compare that to what we have, we have an enzymatic, uh, sorry, an, an Aptima sensor platform. Um, it took 15 years to do the first, to develop the first sensor. But in the next four years, we've developed 12 different sensors. So more than double what the whole enzymatic industry has done in 40 years, we've done that in four. And that's the power of a platform. The, the other advantage that we have over that technology is that um, that technology enzymatic can just do metabolites. They're things that are already in our body. However, we can do things um, such as drugs, proteins, hormones. So we can do classes of molecular targets that no other technology can, can measure. So that gives us a blue ocean opportunity. So that, there's some of the reasons why we see CMM as the next evolution of CGM because it just gives us that ability to go into areas that other technologies can't. In terms of our first market precision dosing or therapeutic drug monitoring, we call that a, a low hanging fruit for us. It's really poorly done at the moment. Um, clinicians are pulling for a solution. The patient outcomes are poor, it is costly. And so um, this is a technology um, where people are looking for this as a solution. There is a pull from the market. So that's this makes it a, an obvious first step for us because we can just have a seismic improvement in the current problem of therapeutic drug, drug monitoring at the moment. Part of where we want to go to as Neutromics is a patch for every patient. So therapeutic drug monitoring and vancomycin in particular is a starting point for us with the technology. But where Peter and I want to take this and the company is a patch for every patient, where when you present at the hospital, you have a patch that straight away starts to stream data to the doctors. Uh, where you leave the, the hospital, there's a remote monitoring patch on you to stream that data back and make sure that you're recovering well and you're not having any readmission re issues or conditions that require you to be readmitted. That they can monitor your drug dosing levels, the safety biomarkers of interest and efficacy biomarkers of interest for a patient, all from the comfort of their home. So that's where we want to take this in future products and, and in the, as part of our technology roadmap is a patch where we have multi-analyte sensing built in and it allows us to build a product from a therapeutic drug monitoring patch to then a patch for every patient.